You know, tw- Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. To the elect of Israel, started with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of the so called blacks, so called Hispanics, so called Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners. Hebrew Israelites who are scattered among all nations, looking like the other nations and speaking their tongues. Shalom to all of you. Before we get started with this lesson, let's face the East and give the much due our phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shum, Yahweh Shai, Baha Racha Kodash, Koholoyim La, Yahweh, Baha Shum, Yahweh Shai. Baharacha Kwadash, the honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works, and shalom to you, believers, to the Akim Wa Akwa, which will be you, brothers, and few of the sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth, listening and learning in silence. As the scriptures say so. I'm your brother Manazar, representing Warriors for Yahweh Shai, Pasadena, Texas branch. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. All right. So today's lesson is going to go into, uh, you know, pretty much the Lord bringing judgment upon wicked Israelites from various of ages from the both uh, from both kingdoms, southern kingdom and northern kingdom. And late, lately, recently, especially out here in uh, Texas and like Oklahoma, the Lord has been visiting um, these two states with some fierce storms and uh, tornadoes, man. All right, so we're going to play this video. I think there's another one. Okay, all right. I can pause that. But before I do play this video, you know, fair use, fair use, fair use, you know how. You know how YouTube get down, man. All right. Fair use disclaimer. All right. Fair use disclaimer. Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use. Fair use. Fair use. For purpose such as criticism, comment, news reporting. That's what I'm doing right now. News reporting. Teaching and teaching. All right, I'm going to use the scriptures in the Holy Bible, the words of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, for today's news reporting, today's teaching, okay, to prophesy pretty much. Scholarship and research, fair use, is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infiguring. All right, fair use, fair use, fair use. All right, I'm not making any money off of this. You know, 22 people were killed from deadly storms that went through Texas and several other states over the weekend. Well, the National Weather Service now says four tornadoes touched down in North Texas alone Saturday night, and the tornado in Valley View has now been upgraded to an EF3. Now, all seven of the deaths here in Texas were in Cook County, three of them from one family. And David Santendry with our sister station in Dallas spoke to a family member of a woman who was killed along with her two kids. I wish that I could give myself for them to be here. That's not how it is. Mary Saul Esparza. All right, real quick, real quick, Salakia. Yeah. All right, Northern Kingdom. All right, you are Hebrew Israelites. All right, and you not you are not excluded from being judged by Yahweh Bashem Yahushai if you don't seek the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai if you don't repent. All right, Ephraim all the way down to Neptali. All right, take a good look. Ephraim, so-called Puerto Ricans, so-called uh, Boricuas, all the way down to Neptali, so-called Argentina, right, Chile, all right, Issachar, Mexicans, all right, Asher, Colombia to uh, Ugai, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, to the Incas, right, you see it right there, okay, Gad. So-called Native American Indians. All right. Better repent. All right. 
cannot grasp the loss of her nine-year-old brother, Marco, 15-year-old sister, Miranda, and 49-year-old mother, Laura. I heard my little brother's voice this morning, and I turned around, and he wasn't there. My mom didn't pick up the phone. My sister didn't pick up the phone. I realized that we're gone. An EF3 tornado ripped through their Valley View community Saturday evening. I was texting my sister. I said I was scared. She said she was scared. I said it was going to be okay. Nothing's going to happen. And then we lost signal. And I didn't hear from them again. And that was the last time you spoke that to her? That was the last time I spoke to her. Mary Soul, 29 years old, lives across town. She says her parents and... Let me get a scripture right quick, so lock it. Second Chronicles, uh, chapter 15, verse 13, right? All right, so this is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 13 in the KJV, that whosoever, right, Israelites, would not seek the Lord, the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh, right? The true name of the Heavenly Father. Right, right, Yah, Ha, Wah, Yahawa. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, our God, Allah, Nawa, our power, our God, Yahawa. He is, he is to be, right, the existent one, the proper name of the true power. All right, and we make mention of our Lord Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the anointed one. Yah, Hawashai, Shai, Yah, He, Hawashai, Shai, Savior, Deliverer of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. That whosoever would not seek or right, worship the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, power, the God of Israel, Yah, Shar, Allah should be put to death whether small right young a child or great an elderly whether man or woman all right so with whatever it is lights out there that don't want to worship seek the lord yahweh bahashem yahweh shai in spirit and truth and sincerity with fear and trembling with reverence respect the lord is going to kill you children or old men or women as her parents and three siblings lived in a mobile home off green meadow drive where now you only see a debris field everything's gone all of it her father laid on top of the family in an effort to shield them while sheltering from the tornado in a bathroom he got on top of them and he said the next thing he knows he's flying her father and 24 year old brother while seriously injured survived the others did not. My sister, my little brother, and my mom were underneath the vehicle. Mary Soul broke news to her father in a hospital. He said, where's your mom and where are your sister and your brother? And I said, Dad, they're not here anymore. So they're gone. I will forever remember the yell, the screaming that I heard from my dad once I told him, the crying. You've never heard him cry before? He doesn't cry. My dad's strong, he doesn't cry. Seven people were killed and more than 100 injured after multiple tornadoes hit North Texas Saturday evening. I just know that it came so sudden, so sudden. Nearly half of lives lost are a part of the Esparza family. My mom took her babies with her. Mary Soul, more than a decade older than Marco and Miranda, felt as if she was their protector. So while there's overwhelming damage to her community, everything torn to pieces, it pales in comparison to the pain inside of her heart. They were my babies, they were my everything. We always said that if something happened to our parents that I would take care of them. All right, let's get another scripture. Mind you, which is right here, Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, that the Lord is saying that whichever is likes, doesn't matter if it's young, old, men, women, right? The, that don't want to seek him are going to be put to death, man. All right. Let's get the book of Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10, 
verses 30 to 31. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 30 and 31. For we know him. For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And again, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, shall judge his people. The Lord shall judge his people. His people right here. Judah, so-called blacks. Benjamin, so-called West Indian blacks. Levi, so-called Haitians. Ephraim, so-called Puerto Ricans. Manasseh, so-called Cubans. Simeon, so-called Dominicans. Zebulon, right? The Mayans, right? Guatemala to uh, Panama. Uh, Panama. Gad, so-called Native American Indians. Reuben, so-called Seminole Indians. The tribe of Asher. Colombia to Yugai, the Incas. Issachar, so-called Mexicans. Neptali, so-called Argentina and Chile. For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Verse 31. It is a fearful thing. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, Yahweh. Bahasham in the name Yahawashai. All right, let's get another one really quick. Let me, let me get the next video. Uh, Zep, Zepanai, Zepanai, Zep, Hana, yeah, okay. Um, the book of Zepaniah, chapter 3, verse 5, in the KJV. The just Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do if he bring his judgment to light. He fell of not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So the Lord brings forth his judgment to light every day, every night, every morning. All right. And you Israelites still can't see it, that the Lord is angry with his people who refuse to repent to him. Yeah. How about Shem All right. Verse 17. My bad, my bad. It's a lock, yeah. All right, so the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verses 15 through 17 in the KJV. So persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. Right, tempest, right? Think of tornadoes, for example, fierce winds, so called natural disasters, hailstorms, rainstorms, floodings. Thunderstorms, right? Uh, verse 16. 
fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name O Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai Verse 17 Let them be confounded and troubled forever Yeah, let them be put to shame and perish So the Lord is bringing some violent tempests and storms Upon his upon this sinful kingdom, America And Israelites who are wicked as hell still That don't want to repent Alright We're going to get this in the living Bible uh, 83 Salak, yeah 15 through 17 Now this is the living Bible Oh shit, my bad Gotta put a dash Come on, bruh Dash one seven. All right. So this is the living Bible. Chase them with your fiery storms, tempests, and tornadoes, and tornadoes. Chase them with your tornadoes. These people are afraid. Chase them with your fiery storms, tempests, and tornadoes. Let me get this right quick. Utterly disgrace them until they recognize your power and name. And name. Oh, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Make them failures in everything they do. Let them be ashamed and terrified. So the Lord is going to bring disgrace upon the sinful kingdom, the sinful kingdom, and you wicked as rebellious Israelites. And y'all going to recognize his terrifying power. Alashadia. Terrible like almighty demon like power. And name his fearful name, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is going to make you failures in everything you do. You're trying to establish your own righteousness. You're trying to lean upon your own understanding. You're trying to lean upon other pagan gods. Instead of leaning upon him for help, the Lord is going to make you fail in everything you do. You're going to be filled with shame and you're going to be terrified. Seek the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, or perish. All right? Israel, talk to you Israelites. The Lord's only dealing with Hebrew Israelites. He ain't dealing with the, with the heathens. All right? Especially a damn Edomite, so-called white person. The Lord despises you man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6 in the KJV. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, of hosts, of armies, with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest, you know, tornadoes, right? And the flame of devouring fire. I think in... In this same version it actually says tornadoes. Let's see, world wind. World wind is, is a thunder. I mean, is a earthquake. I mean, uh, we call that a tornado. Let me see this very quick. Let's see me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bear with me. Hold on. Go back to the bear with me, Balkasha. All right, so let's see the Living Bible. In an instant, I, the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai of hosts, will come upon them with thunder, earthquake, whirlwind, and fire. Whirlwind. Right, you also get tornado. You see, whirlwind. You get tornado, tornado, 
hurricane, typhoon, cyclone, tropical storm, tropical cyclone, vortex, right? A column of air moving rapidly around and around in a cylindrical or funnel shape. doing this, whether it's directly from heaven itself, from our, from our creator's throne, or he's having Esau Eden, the devil, to use his technology to orchestrate uh, uh, something called uh, weather wars, like orchestrating, uh, engineering these storms. At the, at the end of the day, it all goes back to our Bahasim, Yahawashai. All right, the Lord's doors. He does all these things, right? Let's get that right quick. Uh, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7, the KJV. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil, bad times. I, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, do all these things. The Lord does all these things, man. The Lord is doing all of this. Let's get Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39 in the KJV. See now that I... Even I am he. And there is no God with me. There's no Jesus Christ with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. There's no pagan gods with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. There's no Buddha, no Allah, no Queen Shiva, no Santa Maria. Right? The Quran, the universe, your zodiac sign, the tarot cards, your crystal, your goldfish. Your higher self, your ancestors. <laughs> okay. See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. There's no Yahusha. There's no Yah. There's no Je Jehovah. Ye Ye Yeshua, Yeshaya, and all, the, all these crazy ass names, man. See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I kill, I kill, and I make alive. Every time when you come across articles, news reportings, you know, somebody being put to death, the Lord did it, and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Lord willing. Lesson is edifying. Playing upon the tables. Put some fear into your Israelites who has not repented yet to Yahweh Bashmi Shai to repent to Yahweh Bashmi Shai because whether small or great man or woman who refuse to seek the Lord is going to be put to death. That's why there's a thing called Jacob's trouble. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7. That's why there's a thing called Jacob's trouble. Two thirds of Hebrew Israelites here in America are going to die a very painful death. Repent, Israel, or perish. You shall know through death by pain. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 12 in the Apocrypha, just paraphrasing. You Israelites who don't want to repent. Men, women, children, maids, young or old. From both kingdoms, the southern kingdom and northern kingdom. So-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners. Hebrew Israelites who may look like the other nations and speak their tongues. But your lineage goes back to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which, which makes you a Hebrew Israelite. Repent. Low willing, you was edified. I'm going to close out by giving a much ado, all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai.
Baharacha Kodash, Koholoim Lai, Yahawo, Bahashum, Yahawo Shai, Baharacha Kodash, that will honor to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, since the Akim that's laboring and works. Shabbat Shalom to you believers, to the Akim wa Akwa, which will be you brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth, listening and learning in silence. As the scripture says so. Alright. Shalom.